Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the CNPS 14X 140mm Fan Ultra Quiet Cooler from Zalman at Socket LGA 2011 ready and can use up to three fans. Two additional fans available for installation. That doesn't even mean anything. Okay, moving right along to the side. Powerful cooling performance, 140mm PWM fan with low noise, U-shaped dual heatsink, excellent compatibility, high performance thermal greases included, and it can be installed in mid-tower computer cases is what I'm sure they meant to say. It's like middle computer cases, like Middle Earth, like if your computer case is like hobbits and stuff. Powerful cooling performance, okay. This, this looks like most of the same stuff we already saw. So why don't we go ahead and open this up? This might matter. Uh, the weight is, wow, uh, almost two, about two pounds actually. Actually, that's outstanding. And long life bearing, okay. Long life bearing isn't an actual bearing type. I wonder if they mean like little ball bearing or like uh, hydro bearing or some other kind of bearing. So on one of my previous Zalman cooler unboxings, I had said that I liked their uh, mounting mechanism. I think they've changed their mounting mechanism since last time I used it because it was a little bit challenging to get all the pieces sort of aligned and assembled and then, um, and then going. Um, in terms of packing materials, we're using a soft foam down here in the bottom, so there's not much risk of damage. And then this cardboard at the top is going to be pretty much all you need to protect this guy. I like this right here, this piece. It seems kind of like unnecessary until you think about it in terms of if you've ever had a tower cooler with two towers before and uh, what happens when you accidentally like bend them, which is, I've, I've had this happen. So this is good. I'm, I'm a fan. Uh, let's have a look at the overall design of the cooler. So the obligatory finger shot, is it shiny? Yes, it's shiny. Uh, not like the, uh, the 9900 Max that we looked at before, but it is shiny. And honestly, it's not really necessary for it to be a mirror-like finish in order to make good contact with the CPU. In terms of heat pipes, we've got six heat pipes. These are smaller heat pipes, but there's lots of them. And the towers are nice and big, so you've got a fairly dense... Actually, you've got a fairly dense arrangement here. So you're going to need a fairly high-performance fan in order to really generate the best performance out of this cooler. However, I do like the whole sandwich cooler design design overall because it's all it always felt stupid to me back in the day that we weren't making any use of the air that's coming into the intake and we're only making use of the air that the fan is exhausting because some people think that um, and they're wrong um, some people think that the air that gets exhausted from a cooler that's like let's let's say let's say this part didn't exist and it's just a fan blowing down onto heat sinks they think that the air coming out of here is already like the maximum temperature that could have been you know, transmitted to that air. It doesn't work that way. I mean, the air temperature might only raise a few degrees going from here with the, through the fan and through the other side. So yes, this side is going to be slightly less efficient than this side in terms of cooling, but it's a lot better than nothing. So you're definitely better off. I mean, uh, Swift Tech did their um, stack series of radiators where they had you could have two radiators and then single layer of fans in between as long as you've got a high pressure high performance fan that is a beastly way to achieve more cooling surface area without sacrificing um noise because you can use one fan to do the work of two as long as it's high static pressure so it's a 140 millimeter fan you've got additional mounting hardware included right here for an additional two fans. So this is actually, yeah, it's very, very dense because it's using many thinner heat pipes and then a fairly dense arrangement here. But you've got more of these that you can actually mount like, I don't know, it'll go on there somehow. Slick's trying to figure it out too, but I don't think he stands a better chance. I mean, if I can't do it, he can't do it. I'm just bugging you. It goes on here somehow. Yeah, I really don't think it goes there. I don't think that's it. I think it's this one. I think it's this one, and it probably like stretches over a fan somehow, and uh, you know, it might actually be this way. But everything would be hunky dory somehow, and it would it would fit. Don't worry. Um, mounting hardware, thermal grease is included, and Zalman case badge, and nice rigid back plate. So that's one thing it does have going for it. And I think that pretty much covers it. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the CNPS 14X from Zalman. And don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. And just in case you wanted something totally ridiculous with your CNPS 14X, you can actually set up up to an additional two fans with the included mounting brackets to go with the one in the middle, which means you've got a push 
pull push pull configuration on this thing making it like about as big as a person's head see check this out more performance more silence just generally more of everything so yes thank you for checking out this unboxing and sort of ludicrous application of a huge cooler from Zalman. Actually, this is slightly different than the 9900 in terms of mounting. Um, this was a little bit disappointing to me. So this is the same. So you'll, you'll go ahead and you'll put these in under these screws. You just loosen them a little bit. You throw this in here and then you tighten them back up. And then, um, see, no, it doesn't go there. It goes in between. And then you go ahead and you put these bolts through here. And then once this, like, if the motherboard's installed in your case, then this will be really challenging because this will be here or like here and then you'll have like this wrench and you'll be trying to tighten it like this. Um, 